Yo, what is up guys? So, we're back. Uh, now then. Just so y'all know, as a quick heads up. So, I talked about this in the little half streams we had. Um, the way this is gonna work is... I'm having these guys in the background. They're gonna start off as dancers. This is Knife Wife. This is Shing, because you know that's the sound a sword makes. And then, uh, this is Azura, because, you know, Azuras are, like, deities that are vengeful gods or whatever. They're basically a different form of... I think it's, like, Buddhism? Or Hinduism, or something like that. It's a different form of life. Anyway, though, um, so, you got these three. They gonna be cool. Those are the explanations for the names. Knife Wife doesn't need an explanation. You already get the joke, and it looks like Shinobi used to look like... And, uh, or Shogun? Was it Shogun? Yeah, I guess it was. Um, anyway though, so here are our mains. Right now we got level 13, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14. Okay, so I do want to point something out. The way the class system works is when you get subclasses, uh, you want to get your first class decently high, and then you want your next class to also be decently high, and so on and so on. The reason is because in the game system, passive stat-wise, you are still leveling up. Which means that, like, for example, say you are a level 30 of whatever class your starter is, and then you go into a new subclass, add 15 levels to that level. Your level halves, because it's half that for that new class, but your total level is actually, like, added to that. So, they, they did that specifically so that basically you could be a higher level quicker with new characters if you made a new party if your team got wiped. Uh, I learned this from the, uh, like, one of the guides I looked at. I'll probably leave a uh, link in the uh, description if I can find it again. Because, like, legit, I was going over Google for a while, and I found one guide specifically that probably gave the most detailed information about how you should play the game. I don't want to do everything they did. Like, I, I obviously... The next class these guys are going to be is uh, the Archer. I think it's called an Archer. I don't remember. It's it's like the range class that uses a bow, so probably an Archer. Either that or just, like, Rogue or something like that. But it... Yeah, y'all get it. At level 6 or level 7, that class gets a ability to view health bars. So, that's going to be good because these are going to be my new mains. Like, basically, I haven't messed up yet with snipes or meds. These two are correct in a way. I actually want to change snipes to a cleric after it hits level 30, and I want to change meds to an, a sorcerer when she hits level 30. Uh, our main, I might just keep the main the way it is. I might not. It it all depends. But as far as the, uh, like, these guys go, obviously I could keep Shogun the way uh, she is, but I do want to change her because I feel like we need the uh, extra subclass. But I did it in the wrong order is the thing that I found out from looking up guides. The best way to do this is landing at the end either on Ninja or Samurai. Ninja, however, does not work on this version of the game because it's harder than the PS Vita and the 360 version. So I figured this would be a better system. So what I'm going to do basically is start off with the Dancers. Uh, we'll move to Archers afterwards after these guys hit like level... I, I honestly think they get everything they need at about 15 or whatever, but, uh, like, you can look at it, for example, mastery, uh, check, learn skills. See, like, you still get skills up till 28. I kind of want to get it to 30 or something, though, just because, like, that'll be the extra levels. And then whenever I change it over to uh, Archer, yes, I'll already be level 7 for the skill I need, but I could keep going to add to the total level getting all these characters to level 30 multiple times, and the final class being, like, after uh, Archer, what I'm probably going to do is get them to being uh, fighters. The reason fighters is because passively they'll get more strength that way, and then a knight, and then the last class I'll land them on is Samurai, and the reasons for that AoE kill. So basically, these are going to be, like, in the game, the last area, these threes are going to be my tanks, and they're going to be, like, really broken for that job so yeah that's how that's gonna be and uh here's what our classes have just so y'all know so we got a katana that does 62 got all these 175 and 115 now of course though if you actually look at the damage 200 254 88 times 2 so technically it's like 176 yeah and then 
mages are mages, so their stats don't really matter except for intelligence. Anyway, though, so that is our basic uh, system that we got going right now. Now, though, we are 14 hours in. I know last stream we were not that far. Uh, the little half streams we had, we took out two lineages, though. If I remember right, was it two? I'm pretty sure it was two. I know we took out the white one. Uh, oh, yeah, we also took out the Grand Forest Guardian. Which means that we could probably get to this guy if we wanted to. This guy was one star, though, and I don't want to risk going after, like, a higher level than what we can handle. Uh, also, I think we have enough blood crystals to get another uh, ability. So let's do that real quick. I think that'd be in the leader's room, yeah. I'm not positive if we have enough, but I'm pretty sure we do, so... Yeah, we do. We've got three. Uh, gain the initiative for one turn, or we can nullify all conditions. Does death count as a condition? My reasoning for asking that is this. Th this is the reason for that, and it, it's very specific. Look in the party at meds. You have a spell. It is called Health Cure. Cures all conditions except charm, unconscious, and death. Meaning death is just a condition. That's a good question. But see, if that doesn't cure death, then it's not as good. It would save us farming, though, for like if a character dies. Because instead of having to revive them and then recover their health point, we could just revive them uh, instantly and then we'd have to recover the health point. It saves us, like, 20 fights, basically, or 10. But I don't know if that's how that works. So I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Uh, you can't go back, I found out. After you make your choice of uh, what you want, you can't go back, apparently. Uh, yeah, the reason they did that, though, is just because, like, obviously, this is story-based. Uh, what you do is this specific route is going to be for the rest of the game. Uh, these little, like, points right here are actually how you can tell how far you are in the story. For example, like, y'all see this? Okay, so, obviously, we're gonna have to kill more divinity types. Kill more, kill more, kill more, kill more, and then we're gonna get all the way up to here. And then here. And then here. Okay, so yeah, it's a cool system, in a way. It's just so like, th this is basically how far you are in the story, it's how you can tell. We're gonna just get that, because I don't really care about these abilities, I don't normally use abilities that much. Yeah though, and see though, every time we do it, we're gonna get like cutscenes. So they're going to take us to a meeting, I guess. Wait a second. She just said there's monsters around the guild. Okay. So we can go on this little meeting thing. It said we have a choice, so... Oh, okay, yeah, we do. Okay. Most likely, since we have a choice, that means there's going to be either a boss there, or it means there's going to be a fight in general there. I don't know if we can handle a boss right now, so what I want to do is leave real quick. Okay, so I actually learned something. Uh, if y'all look at this, the, uh, not mausoleum, mausoleum of forest. So, 
you have this right here. The princess. We couldn't find her originally, and I thought she was a random encounter. Apparently the easiest way to find her is hiding in the forest, in the uh, first part of the forest, Monument of Forest. Uh, not where the teleporter is. And the reason is because she's uh, more likely to spawn in the south forest. She actually apparently does have a really tiny chance, though, to spawn in the other parts of this map. It's just really unlikely. Like, this is Frost Forest South. Up until you get towards the orc camp, this is where she can spawn. So basically here or over here. Uh, it's not guaranteed that she will spawn, however, and she can spawn as a walking enemy. It's just so unlikely that there's no point in trying to farm for it. And unless, you know, you just get lucky. So if we get lucky, we'll get to see her that way. If not, we'll probably get to see her from hiding. And either way, apparently she's a rare spawn. Uh, there are apparently ways, though, that you can make her spawn. Uh, apparently, if you had actually paid attention to the uh, old lady talking about her, uh, she's scared of men. If you make your party more female, then she has a higher chance of spawning. I thought about doing that, but at the same time, then I thought not, nah, because that goes against, like, the roles we already have the characters for. So, that that's why I didn't do that. So, you can blame me for the lack of her spawning. Although, there is a, there's still the chance she can spawn. It's just higher if you're all female. Because, like, apparently that was the big hint for it. It's like, oh, no, she's scared of men. Uh, we don't really need a katana, and these things are a little bit too high to be wasting that for Okay, what are these? Ooh. We could do this. Oh, yeah, also, since we're doing this fight, actually, I can show y'all a cool little ability we picked up. So, I don't remember what level this is at, but I can show y'all in a second. Basically, you go into skills with a sorcerer, though, and you got this cool ability called High Cast. Use the spell twice. You want to know what's broken about this? Magic is broken in general. Yeah. Yeah. Being able to cast Fire Blast with two, like, characters actually equals you clearing out uh, a row or two, even if they're level 20s. The thing that's broken about that, though, is the fact that you can cast it four times if you've got two sorcerers. So, yeah. Uh, let's look at... doesn't matter which mage, really. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So you get this ability at... High cast at 14. So, yeah. Anyone win that? There it is. Okay, so... We could go straight up. Where's the uh, other hiding place map? Uh, we're right here, so we've got to go down. So opposite of that thing. Wait. Wait. The enemy is down? Oh. Okay. Well, that's weird. Also, as you can tell, our uh, samurais actually do, like, decent damage now. Okay, well, that's the cube, so it's the opposite direction. Okay. Eh, let's fight him, I guess. Okay. Where's that? Hold up. We need to... Where's the little... Okay, so there's that. That's the cave. So if we go... This way. This way. Yeah, by the way, this is now my new go-to if we run into a hard enemy. It's just going to be this. Because uh, when I noticed that I had this, I thought it was going to be like, oh, well, that that's cool. Um, I used it on two skull caps that were level 25 that I ran into uh, while farming. 
And what happened next was very satisfying. I'll put it like that. Basically, um, it, it cleared them out in one attack, but what was funny about it was after the fight was over, I had like 2,500 or uh, 3,000 XP. I was like, I got that from the level 1 area? Like it was one of those rare times where I was hoping I had been streaming. Butterfly undies. Hmm. Those actually give a really good amount of defense, so... You go and just... Hey, no. You can have the second best. You should have the best. Ten, ten, twelve. Okay, okay. That that matches what it should be. <clears throat> okay. Also, if y'all can't tell, I'm trying to make progress, but at the same time, the reason I'm farming so much is because I want to make sure we don't like get wrecked. So we're gonna go to the forest stone. Okay, we need to find the shortcuts. So it's right here. That's a shortcut. And I can tell that immediately. So like right here. So it's down and down this way. these level 20s we actually can fight these like surprisingly now <laughs> fire blast fire blast actually now that there's just one we can just maul it okay No, thank you. I don't like dark areas. <laughs> Not in this game. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Also, hold up. Okay, so that's the Firebird lands. I don't know if the Firebird lands are going to be completely black like that, or if they're going to like change any. Okay, so you don't have a choice once you go, like, into it. You have to go forward. Okay, well... Hmm. Hmm. Is this... That looks like it'd be a shortcut. I'm gonna go there. Cancel auto move. We just saw an item. Map. Oh my god. Uh, da -da 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 -da. that's that, that's that, okay. Now then, that's that, so. Let's hide again, see if we can find our little lineage type. No, that's not what we're looking for, which kind of sucks. Okay, let's try again. And what is it? Nope. Okay. Well, that's life. Anyway, where's... Okay, that's that. So this is down. Okay. 
Let me check, see if we can hide here. Yeah, okay, so that's what this area is apparently for. Hmm. I'll fight him. Okay. See if there's like any other secret areas. Seems like you can hide here. I couldn't hide here the last time I checked, so I'm calling BS. This is shenanigans. What is that throne weapon? Well, we kind of need the morale, so I'm gonna just slaughter him. Okay. Gonna be poison gas. Oh, hey, I was right. Okay, so hmm, I don't see any other places that could be. There might be one or two that I'm missing though. Okay, well. Hmm. And we can't go through there until we kill the Firebird, which is over here. However, I don't know what level the enemies over there are. If I take a, like, a rough estimate, my guess would honestly be that the enemies there are going to be like level 30s. Level 20 to 30. Okay. Return to city. Okay, well, is there any other, like, lineage we could do easy? We could try this guy. See, my problem with him, though, is we're gonna have to go through the, uh, slums area again. I just forget what the actual place is called, I just know that it's like in the same area that the slums are at, so... I guess... Let's do it. Can I point out, this is the farthest area, uh... Like, this is the farthest the game makes you go without a checkpoint. Like, so far. As far as I know, this is as far. Which I do kind of like. You know, the added challenge of having to go a ridiculous distance. And the sounds our characters make when they get hit. Okay. Do, do, do. I like how the one that was already there didn't die that turn. Okay. Oh yeah, also, I ran into uh, level 25s and 30 baby draws in the starter area. Uh, I did not know those were going to be a thing, and they scared the heck out of me. Uh, surprisingly, because of the fact they were baby draws, though, they died really easily. So, that was a plus. It, it was a good, like, free source of XP. I guess hide. Yeah, figured.
I'm trying to figure out like where the teleporting stone would be because y you know it's gotta be here. Like that that's the only thing that's on my mind right now. It's gotta be here. Cuz we're like almost at the end of where we can go. And if there's not one then this map is just ridiculous for walking. We found a katana a while back, so that's cool. Till we meet again. Bye, Mumik. I feel like low-key at some point I want to fight Mumik, but at the same time, I feel like it's going to be this ridiculous end-game super boss. Really messed up move on the game's part. It's like surprise. Okay, we can't go here yet. And we couldn't go through that one way that had a closed gate either. Okay, hold up. Let me check the map. So, we didn't fully explore that place on that side, did we? No, I think there's still like. There's still that space, but there's still a little bit more, too. Um... Huh. Well... There's still a couple ways we can go about this one. Let's try it. Okay. We're need... It's a really good thing we have a cleric that's like OP and that we haven't changed yet. Okay. Like when we swap meds out for uh, snipes, we're gonna also like do the reverse. That way we've always got the backup sorcerer, but we've also got uh, the cleric that is the real OG of the team. Oh my god, these things are gonna be a pain. Let's go ahead and use high cast fire blast. High cast fire blast. Okay. Okay, party uh, member. I think it was meds that leveled up. Yeah. Get her PD. Now she'll heal for more. And it's gonna be a room to hide in, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh joy. What are you? Level 23s? Okay. I can deal with level 23s. That's that's fine. And that's just because we over leveled, but still. The fact that this is like there's still the Shadow Clan leader, right? Well, he's a 1-star, but he's in this area. Does that mean the 1-stars go as far as, like, level 20s? Okay. Because if so, how far into the level 20s? Why is there a butterfly here? And her mains about to level up. Okay, this is easy. Okay. 
Okay, okay. So what do we got? So the best route to go, I guess, might be this no? Hmm. I don't know. This looks like a really confusing area. Like, there's still this. Oh, so it's like another shortcut. Okay. So if that's a shortcut... Nope, just a wall. I mean, like, legit, the only thing I'm remembering is that there were, like, these little, like, invisible wall shortcuts. Okay. Okay. Well, we did a decent amount of exploration here, but I feel like there's something missing. Okay. Map. Huh. I'm trying to think. There's... Most likely, what this is, is there's an invisible door right here, or an invisible door right here. Or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. It could be anywhere, but there has to be one. That is my assumption as of right now. Ah, kudos to the game developer. Kudos to them. I wish we could activate, like, super speed mode. Zoom. Yeah, also, I'm using this auto movement uh, style now. The reason's because if you run into a monster in this mode, it doesn't stop you from running. Like, you'll still have to fight them, but, like, it'll keep going, so you don't have to, like, reset it. I think it's a cool system. Like, it's a cool little feature to have. Okay, so we're going to go now is just to save and then we're going to try going further. Because who knows, we might be able to. Also, quest real quick. Uh, poison to poison. save. We're now almost 15 hours into this game, and I think we're only like halfway through. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back to the slums. Well, I want to go right there. And the enemies respawned. Okay. Can't wait till I samurais get to like level 20. 
They'll be able to plow through areas like these, but these are just the starter areas. And if we had a full army of samurai. Well, if we had a full army of samurai, actually, this would be a completely different game. What it would be is literally just, uh, as long as, like, one person had a uh, magic weapon in the back and one person had a uh, divine weapon. Legit, all it would be is just, everyone's been a dancer at least once. Everyone's been a uh, cleric or a sorcerer or whatever. Like, one or two of them have. Freaking, uh... And then it would just be, for the regular if, like, fodder, it would just be swing, swing, swing. It'd be over really quick, like every single fight would. Oh joy, what are these? Level 19, level 21. Actually, surprisingly enough, this is doable. Yeah. Like, we only had one guy get, like, severely injured in that. Okay, so... Cure poison. Okay, full party's back at full health. Uh, map. We're almost there, too. We're already, like, halfway through. And we're here. Okay. Okay, now the real work begins. I like how it's just like, this is a wall. Sir, you're inspecting a wall. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. That's a level 31. That's a no. That's a big no. That's like a no thank you with a side of fries. Oh, found it. Called it. Okay. Now this place makes sense. Wait, wait, no. No. That's not the correct way to go there. It's literally just... you just go this way. Okay. This is a weird... It's like up. Yeah, okay. I really hate these traps. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go ahead and <coughs> cure everyone. Do a fly. I'm gonna make a guess that there's a boss in that room. Found it. It took forever, but we found it. We found all three magic stones. Okay. We need to save, and then we're gonna go check that out. And most likely, we're gonna die. But, we're gonna check it out. I need to know if we can take it or not. We probably can't. Okay, we're in the Valley of Stone. Is this like the last part of the map? No, there's still the uh, Valley North. Okay, so we got most of the map uncovered. Door shut tight. We can 
hide in here, right? Yeah, okay. Figured that was gonna be it. Let's have ourselves a nice little tussle. Break their kneecaps. Okay, so, anyway. Uh, let's go with fire. I cast fire. Defense. Okay. I just realized we can still level up our main. By the way, XP does apparently stack. I found that out because, uh, like, you know, like, if you don't level up, you're still getting XP. Also, we can't upgrade our intelligence past 29. I don't know why, but apparently that is a thing. Uh, what I learned, though, is that, uh, what's it called? Like, after you level up, you're still getting XP. I wasn't sure, because it just says level up afterwards, but. Okay, so there's still this huge space here. It's gonna get locked and there's gonna be an army. I'm already... It, it's already gonna happen. Like, I know it's gonna happen, so I don't know why I'd be surprised. Okay. I can support this guy. He looks like samurai, and he's doing samurai things. Like fighting me. That's what samurai should be doing, right? Okay. I genuinely don't know how this is gonna go, because I don't know if I have enough mana to continuously use this ability. But I'll try. Okay, now attack. Uh, high cast, fire bolt. Uh, high cast, fire bolt. And then, multi cure. Okay, well, it worked. Nobody died. Got a katana and a big katana. Okay. That honestly was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to get wrecked. Okay. I think that, was that the last lineage of that place? Like, for now at least? Because I think it was. Huh. So hold up. Uh, Shogun has the uh, spear, which is 115 times 1. Technically, this katana is better. 109 times 2. So that would be... So 218 times 2. Or 200 times 1. Yeah, no, no, that, that katana. That katana is a lot better. Okay. Well, like it's literally like two times better. Is the difference. Uh, let's save real quick. We did good. We genuinely did good. Okay. Oh, so we can't just give her any until we go to the meeting. Okay, well... Let's check out some lineages real quick. Uh, we still need to get the Princess of Plants, so that's a thing. Yeah, we could still kill this guy if we wanted to, but we'd have to go to the palace, and I don't really feel like fighting enchanted things. We got all the Valley of the Rune stuff for now. Huh. I'm gonna do a really quick uh, search real quick to look at something. 
for anyone wondering, yes, it's if there's a specific requirement for Princess of Plants, because I don't know if there's like a specific like one patch of hide she can spawn in or something like that. Anyway, though, this is pretty fun. Like, I'll give the game this. It's difficult at first, but as long as you know what you're doing, it's easy. I just wish they should have gone about the intro a little bit better, like explaining everything to you, because they really could have. And had they done that, this would be a lot simpler. Okay. Okay, so... Low spawn rate out of all the lineage types. Gotta wait for the rest of the page to load real quick. Okay, so the zone 18-7, that's the most likely place that the princess will spawn. Okay, so 18-7. It can spawn anywhere, but apparently that's just like the biggest place it's most likely to spawn in. Uh, forest. Map. Okay, so 18 would be over here. And then, so it's 7. Oh, okay, so, like, right about here. Oh, this looks fun. 18, 18, 18, 19, 17. Okay. I like how my samurai can just wipe these guys. Okay. Oh my god, what? I wasn't paying attention to what direction I was even coming from. So, this way. Okay, so it says right here. This is the most likely spot. Oh. Found it already. Okay. That's helpful. Okay, so... Wait, it's level 22. Okay. At least it's something that's, like, reachable. I was afraid this thing was gonna be a little bit higher than that, because the whole forest thing is a pretty difficult area. To say the least. So just attack, and then skill, high cast, firebolt, skill, high cast, firebolt, and then Spell multi -tier. Okay. Yeah, it only did one damage. It wasn't that strong.
And they got wiped. They didn't stand a chance against what we were using against the boss. It's like, oh, you think you can fight us? That's cute. Okay, so... We're now like 15 hours in. How many lineages have we taken out? We've taken out three from there. Technically the tutorial boss of four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can count this guy, but you can't really because we didn't kill him. We just got the crystal for him. So yeah. We still have two guys from the forest to deal with. And the problem with that is these guys are two star, meaning they're about level 30 required. Okay, well, we did everything, like, this is what I set out to do throughout the entire stream. This was my plan to at least get two done. Uh, we got two done, so we could, we could end the stream right now. But keeping the stream going for two hours is the huge for this. So, we're gonna do a, like, slight better. What we gonna do is, uh, system save real quick. Uh, we're gonna go to shop, sell, trade items. Okay, leader's room. We're gonna go to meeting. Oh god, we have to duel an armored knight. <laughs> Roger. Roger, Roger. Counts as spirit. Make sure bring it, they can deal with spirits you at the Shadow Pass. Okay. I mean, we can deal with that easily. As long as it's not, like, broken high level. I shouldn't say we should deal with it easily. That thing could just be broken. Six ways Sunday. It's gonna be like, we're gonna get in, it's gonna be like a level 50. <laughs> it's like, I think there's a bit of a balance problem right now. Don't underestimate the danger. Okay, yep, it's right here. Let's go. That is not one. That is three. Yeah, they're level 19, so okay. So... 
these these are bosses, right? Like these aren't just fodder. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know how to take this because like are these all just fodder? If they are, then this could actually be really easy. If they're not, then I don't know, it's it could still be easy. It could also be ridiculously hard. No, no, they're treat them like fodder. Okay. Okay, I'm I can do that. I cast firebolt. I cast Firebolt. Okay. Well, treat them like fodder, I guess. Accomplished. Night standoff. Ooh, a thousand blood crystals. Okay, so from what I've gotten, basically the old leader died. Either that or disappeared. Okay, so we're gonna get to go to the upper division. Sick like Bruegel's Tower of Devil <laughs> brought to life. Okay, so we need the next blood crystal. That's the first thing, which I think we've already got. Then the chieftain, then the arc. Okay, that's kind of... Okay, well, this is pretty simple, I guess. I'm guessing that's the art. Okay. The pain here is, no matter what, we have to take this thing out. I'm pretty sure this is the enemy where that uh, gives you the liver to uh, save what's-his-face. 
Okay, so we've got to fight this. It's two star, so it's probably going to be 20 to 30. That's doable, but we're going to have to farm, probably. Also, there's the whole problem of even after that, we'll still have to do this. Which, that's going to be in the Ritual Forest. Let's see if we can take on the uh, Shadow Palace. Let's see if we can get anything to spawn if we hide. Because I don't think we've seen the uh, chest yet that can drop here. Okay, well those are cool enemies. That's a hat. I don't really want to do that then. Okay, so it's like... Was that one fire blast or was that both characters using it? No, it was one. Okay. Um, so we can, we can actually say yes. Um, so he wants me to hit him. Okay. Well, that worked out. Okay, so this is where we get helmets.
Okay, so it's strong to fire. I'm calling BS. No. No. We're gonna restart. We're reloading our save. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. Because that, that was BS. There shouldn't have been a Basilisk that strong just out of nowhere. Especially considering that's a starter area. So yeah, we're gonna be cheap. Just this once. I don't reload. I think that's the first time we've reloaded a save, but you know what? That's what we're doing. Okay, so we cleared that out instantly. I guess we're gonna head over here just so that we can get the little chief's trust. No, he's level 35, so we ain't doing that. Okay, there's gonna be an enemy right there. Okay, so not all the enemies are in their 30s, but some of them are. So we need to be careful. Okay, 
Basically, we need to be careful from the start. I'm gonna take a guess something bad spawns on that spot specifically. Let's take the butterfly. Save real quick. Like, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure something bad's gonna spawn on that specific spot. Because there's just a giant tower there. I forgot, if we get, like, a ring on our characters, they actually get, like, a passive buff. Which is actually useful. Okay. Let's get our members sorted right. Okay, so he needs a strength ring. Our cleric needs a piety ring. Piety ring. You don't need a piety ring. Okay. Shorty and vitality. Okay, so this guy needs the strength ring, obviously. This one can have the agility. Oh wait, agility plus five, never mind. Okay, so what does this do? Oh, it increases a lot of my base stuff. Okay. Well then, I will keep that on me. Okay. How much stuff do we've got? Oh, we got a lot. Uh, any legendaries? Okay, we got a Master Spear. So store, weapons. Nope, Master Spear, is that it? So, self from item bag, weapons. Okay, yeah, so everyone's set up with the best stuff they can have now. Uh, do, 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 do. Sell for item bag. Okay. Okay, and we already got all this. Okay. Save real quick. So there's not a lot we could do, like, we can obviously come back here. And we can fight our way through to where that, like, where I'm assuming the bird's gonna be. Because I can't think of any other place it would be, aside from, like, that one specific spot.
Oh, what the heck are these? They look like they're gonna be toads. Uh, fire blast. Fire blast. Oh, wiped them out, whatever the heck they were. Hold on. Remember, it was Shogun, right? Yeah. So... Wish we could see in the dark. Also, I'm judging something. Wasn't that technically what the eyes do? Like the eyes we had to go get. Don't those technically let you see in the dark? Because they let you see through the thicket. Which is darkness. So... Wouldn't that... Like I know, I get it's a game mechanic, but... Logically speaking... What level are these? 34... <laughs> Jesus, no. I need to step on the space you are standing on, sir. Give me this. Okay, so attack, attack, attack. High cast. Firebolt. High cast. Firebolt. And yeah, we can insta-kill it as long as, like, it's not stupid. And ridiculously overpowered in level. I wish I need one fire blast for that. Might need to. And okay. Okay. See, like, it's fair when these things are the same level as everything else in this area, but sometimes you just run into things that are like level freaking 34 in a level 24 area. I guess the logic behind this is it's roughly a 15 level span. It's kind of dumb. That could have been done better, basically. High cast, fire blast, high cast, fire blast. Okay, now we need to heal. I wish this place wasn't creepy as hell, but, you know, can't always get what you want. Okay, and this is going to be a hiding spot too, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. So, what's the map say? It says that the only place we have not checked yet is the top of the Firebird lands. I think it's safe to assume that's where the boss is going to be. And given that that's the case, we're going to save before we fight the boss, because we just, like, kind of already used all of our mana. So we're going to need, like, all of it for the boss fight. Because it's a two-star boss fight, meaning it'll probably be, like, level 25. Which I don't even know if we can handle that. We might need to farm more. Okay. If we just get completely wrecked, like in one go, what I'm gonna do is, since it'll just send us to the main menu, uh, 
I'm gonna end the stream after we get wrecked and then just farm a lot. Cause that that's the only solution I can think of for that if we get wrecked there. Also, wait. Could manage these guys. Cause we should level these up. These are gonna be like the replacements. Okie dokie, so next up is... wait, did we save? I don't know. Probably, but... Okay, how far are we into it? We are about 15 and a half hours. Okay. Oh. So this boss is either going to be a hiding boss, or it's going to be just there. And if it's just there, yeah, it could either be really good or it could be really bad. Depends on what level it's going to be. No. No. There's harpies. We're not doing that. These are gonna be level 35s. I'm I wanna call it right now these are gonna be level 35s, but at the same time, there's there's the small chance they might not be. It wasn't. Oh thank god. Okay, that's a big shadow, and those are orcs. So... Question mark? I don't know if we can take it or not take it. I mean, it might just insta-kill us, but at the same time, it might not do anything. What level is it? Thirty. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Um... Hmm. Well... High cast. Uh, Firebolt... I actually don't know if orcs are weak to fire, surprisingly. Uh, let's go ahead and just use High Cure, because he's gonna need that. Our two little samurai are about to level up. Well, if you want my personal opinion on it, it looks like it's going to be a hiding boss. There's a bright side to that and a downside. The downside being, we're going to have to farm for it. Because most likely that means it's going to be close to 30. It could be a level 25 boss, but it's probably going to be close to 30. So we're going to want to be at least level 20. Aside from that, I don't know what else to say. Because, yeah. See if there's any info on it. Okay, so it's in the depths of the forest where light doesn't reach. So it's in the darkness, obviously. Okay. Uh, are there any one stars that are left or no? I don't think so. Yeah, we took out everything. Well, I guess we could head to the valley. I just realized we never found out what uh, the high-level valley stuff is. Because 
High level forest is uh, where you get your undergarments. The uh, palace is where you get helmets. I want to assume this is where you get armor, but I'm not sure. It's like it, it's where you get something. So let's check. Okay. That's a cool looking chest. Yo, what are these? Level 30s. I can take them. Says that gets killed instantly. <laughs> Famous last words. I can take them. How much damage did we actually do? Oh, okay. We, we actually did wreck them. Okay, well, that worked out. And our two guys leveled up. Oh my god, it could actually be anything. Well, this is a silver box, right? So it can either be explosion or teleporter. Okay, yeah. I was hoping it was going to be the simple one. The, the one that kills us. Because I haven't experienced a teleporter yet. So. Okay, and that dagger we just got is probably going to be broken OP. Compared to what we've been getting. So... Hmm. Also, apparently this might be a good helmet. Might not. Okay. Okay. Well, that works out. And Lich's hand. Okay, so the maps also say that there is one over here. Have I been up there? I haven't. And the door is unlocked because I killed their leader. Huh. Well, there's still this place. We could head there. Okay. Hmm. Level 21, level 21. And there's really good armor inside. Okay. Well. Let's take our chances. And I guess this can be our farming spot then for gear for a bit. Okay. High cast, firebolt. High cast, firebolt. And... Well, I know where I'm farming. I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be the one that's gonna seriously, like, wreck our entire party. If it's a teleporter, I mean, hey, I don't know. It could be really good, it could be really bad. Let me take these. It was a mimic. Yo, I was just spamming A, not looking. Okay. Well, I just dodged a bullet there. That thing was probably gonna wreck us. Okay. So, I guess we're at an hour and a half, and I don't really have anything else that we'll be doing on stream but farming. 
So, I think I'm gonna end the stream here, actually. Yo, okay. Yeah, so this is where we're gonna farm for our new, like, armor. Yeah, because we're gonna need some serious heavy protection for uh, what we're about to be doing. When... Next stream, I'm gonna probably be level... I don't know. I wanna say I'm gonna probably be, like, level 20 on every character, like, at least. I want to say about 20, yeah. I'm not even kidding when I say that either. Like, I'm going to farm that much. Uh, it'll probably be... I'm going to actually just farm all day, probably. Uh, if I do, though, what'll be is... All these characters are going to be either 20 or 18 or somewhere around there. And... Yeah, I think that might be it. I don't think I'm going to swap out uh, Cleric and Sorcerer just yet until they're like at 30-ish. Because I want them to get every ability. So, yeah. I think that'll be that. And I'll probably farm for a decent amount of gear while we're off stream. So, yeah. Uh, Y'all will see the actual like story progression. And the actual, like, when we're doing ridiculous, annoying things like having to take down the lineages. But... For now, I think I'll just do that, because I've already got everything out of the Valley of the Ruined. All that's really left is farming. And then, we gotta take out Mausoleum of the Forest next, which that's gonna be a hassle. And then once we do take that out, though, ironically, that'll mean we're a high enough level to take out these. So, that's cool. Anyway, hope you have fun watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye bye